on the face of it, Leslie Clark looks like a good old country girl, growing up in Louisiana with her grandma whom she still lives with today. Her hair changes almost as much as her love interests. She likes to vape, dance and sing. But since her debut on TikTok, she's caused a few controversies, making people question if she's really what she seems. Put Where your is hand he? on your fucking mother! Where is he? I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me. Messages. Payback's a fucking bitch. Leslie's popularity rose due to her living out her relationships on TikTok. One of her first viral moments was this I'm the ex video to her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend. I'm the ex and I know this might sound crazy but you got him. You got him. But do me a favor. Don't break his heart. She gained a cult following after she would record herself after each breakup lip syncing over sad country music with tears streaming down her face, which would amuse her audience as some of these relationships only lasted a few days. Leslie's first love, Perry, found it hard to escape her grasp. After their short relationship, Leslie claimed to be pregnant. On October 29th, 2018, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I would be going to a paternity clinic. She asked followers for donations for the baby, but it later turned out to be lies. When she was called out for this deception, she didn't seem to care. I just want to say thank you, because you got a point. You really do got a point. Because it is their own fault. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then news had circulated that Perry had died. None of the details were released, but Leslie, determined to chase him to the grave, texted his mother, asking if this was true. Here's a chance about Perry. Perry. He is not dead. He is... He is very well much alive, okay? Let's just put it like that. And I was like, is Perry really dead? And she was like, yeah, somebody was out to get him and shit like that. But it turns out she was just lying for him. Last night, Perry went live. And shit like that. And it's like, oh, we're just faking my own death. I'm just faking my own death. I'm like, one, why the fuck? According to what Jimmy Wayne said to Ariel... That it was because of me when one, he has no room to fucking talk. So, yeah. So Perry had faked his death just to escape Leslie. With her heart leading the way, she moved on to new men. Or boys. How are you related to Leslie? My name's Ethan. I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me and I'm 17 now. <laughs> you were the one? You were the one? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me that my sister has the account logged You are Courtney's brother. Yes, ma'am. My God. Yes, ma'am. My sister has all the login to that account, all the info. Her father even sent his dick to me. Like the whole family's messed up in the head. So, okay, I have a question, Ethan. And Leslie... Please, did you know he was 15 when you sent those photos? You yeah, know, I did. No, I didn't. Look, okay. How old did you think he was? Uh, t somebody told me he was 18. Why didn't you ask him? Man, I'm going to be straight up with you. I told her how old I was. I said, I'm not allowed to talk to anybody above the age of 17. And that's when she had sent the nudes. Did you and ask for those pictures? No, ma'am, I did not. I showed my sister. Right. In her life, Leslie later admitted she knew she was sending nudes to a 15-year-old who chose not to press charges. That is true, but 
back then, I learned from my mistakes. I apologized to him multiple times, and he was like, "You know what, Leslie? I'm not going to press charges on you. I'm not. I'm not going to do it." I don't know why, but this controversy started beef with Tafia, who herself had been caught looking at teenage pornography, and so started the war of words. About pe how dare you talk about black people when you have so many chins? She literally sat here body shaming me, right? She has no right to talk. You look like Peter Griffin when he dressed up as that girl. Uh, Where's your parent? Harassment. Why do you got a tattoo of Perry and he don't even want your ugly ass? Chris Griffin. You got, so you got so much to say. You got so much to say. Right? You got so much to say. Where's your little guard dog? I'm Where's calling your animal control today and I'm calling oh, adult protective Where's services today. Where's your bar? Where's I've seen bar? you put Where's your, your hands bar? on Where's your he? fucking mother. Where is he? Where is he? I said you put Where your hands on your fucking mother. Where is he? Because you can't answer. Why did you have Simone on your line? It was a Why fucking line. Why did you have Simone on your line? Like, at least I have a river for my head, does she? <laughs> She tried to say that she was going to sue me for revenge corn. First of all, Leslie, do you not know what revenge corn is? That means I would have had to have slept with you. And I would never sleep with you, Leslie. First of all, I'm straight and I don't sleep with women. So use your common sense when you tell people shit that you don't even know. You're delusional. You wish you could sleep with this, but you can't. I can't help but feel Leslie is looking in all the wrong places for love. But if she wants a real man, I know just the person. Johnny Elbow's in the house.